Sam. Hey, JB, I know you, you guys were prioritizing uh, stronger starts after the Denver and the Lakers game. Did you see sort of the same issues in the first quarter that you saw in those two games tonight against the, uh, the Clippers? No, I thought, I thought our guys battled. I thought they battled tonight. Saw more effort. Uh, give uh, the Clippers a ton of credit. They're a heck of a team. Thank you. Rick? JB, you guys have gone more than half a season with an open roster spot. You need that fill to stay viable. We got enough here, Rick. I mean, we got enough bodies. You know, I stay out of that. Uh, I coach what's in front of me, and this is my group. So uh, that's for Mitch and our group to discuss and figure out. But uh, I like our group, and, you know, uh, we're going to roll with these guys. Rod? Hey, JB, uh, how would you say it's been, I guess, taxing mentally for the guys? And this is three straight games. You guys have gotten down to a, a big hole and had to kind of fight back. What's it been like physically and mentally? You've had to kind of fight, fight back from these big deficits early on. Yeah, this season's been a grind. You know, it's been, uh, it's been a heck of a season. Obviously, it's a mental and physical grind. Um, you know, we've got a, a young group that's played a lot of minutes, and we've been through a lot this season. And uh, they continue to battle. They show up every night. They keep battling, keep playing. And they're giving me everything they have right now. So we just got to stay the course. You know, that's the name of the game right now. Stay the course. Stay positive. Uh, you know, we'll move on to the next game, learn from this one, rest up, and uh, fight on for another day. But um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I, I'm not going to, you know, dispute that. But uh, we got enough guys in this room to get it done. We just got to move forward and, and, and stay together right now. Will? JB, I know that when it came to LaMelo going down with that wrist, it was kind of something he had to kind of play through and you pushed him through. Was that more of just a pain tolerance thing or uh, what can, more can you tell us about that? Yeah, I don't have an update for you yet. I'll, I'll talk to Joe Sharp and uh, I'm sure we'll have more of an update tomorrow on that. Um, it looked to me like he was having some discomfort there. So, you know, I took him out and that's all I know right now. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow. Danny? Coach Danny Thompson with a three-point conversion. Miles had, uh, I think, 14 in the third quarter after having such a slow start. What did you see for him in the second half? Or did you tell him anything to maybe pump his play up for him to become more offensive in the second half? Yeah, I just wanted to stay aggressive attacking the rim. You know, he's a guy that could put pressure on the rim. He's making good decisions. He's made good decisions this year. You know, he's, he's really uh, developed in that area of playmaking. So, um, I'm proud of him this year. He's really taken a step forward. Uh, his ability to drive closeouts. I thought he made some shots tonight. I think his confidence, you know, bringing his confidence back up as far as shooting the ball was important tonight. So when Miles is making shots and he's driving in, he's making plays for us, we're a much better team. So I liked, uh, I liked his performance tonight. Jason. Thanks, Mike. Hey, uh, Coach Jason Brown, Spectrum News. Um, look, I, I know the league's not going to feel sorry for you. You keep having guys get dinged up. I guess the plus side is there's not been an injury that's been a long-term injury, but you sort of, at, I guess, in quiet moments, sort of was like, our life's got to change at some point. <laughs> uh, I, I don't go I don't go there. You know, for me, I, I just keep, my, you know, my head and my, my mind straight and – I'm not going to wallow in that or think about it. I just move forward with this group and they need me to do that, you know, uh, as their leader, as their head coach, just keep my, my mind moving forward and keeping us moving forward and, and making the proper adjustments. You know, right now it's, uh, you know, it's been a tough road trip. You know, these are three very good teams and we knew that we knew that. So we're not going to hang our heads and we're not going to call it a season. We've got a lot of games to play and we put ourselves in a very good position here. Uh, we just got to get right. And, you know, the most important games uh, on Monday night for us. So we'll heal up, rest up, stay together and uh, continue to march forward. Josh. JB, the other night you talked about the fact that these are the teams you're playing, that you're targeting the teams you want to get to be like. Do you sense uh, from what you've seen that the guys are getting that and the effort level is is more and, and that you guys are taking strides? Like what positive are you taking out from what you saw despite the losses? Yeah, I think the, the positive is that we, we continue to fight, we keep battling, 
And our guys are getting experience against top level competition. I mean, th these are the, the elite teams in the NBA. This is what you're trying to become someday. And these teams, trust me, they didn't just arrive where they're at today. This is taking years and years. You know, I could go down that roster. I could give you Kawhi Leonard as a rookie and where he's at today. Paul George, where he was as a rookie, where he's at today. And I could go up and down Lou Williams. They got tons of vets over there, Nick Batum. And, you know, a lot of my, lot, lot of my group, they're seeing this for the first time. And that's okay. This is the process you have to go through. And you go through the fire, but that fire, it shapes you, it forms you, you know. And the goal right now is just not to get our, our heads down and our spirits beat. You get up the next day and you go, let's get better. What did we learn from that? And where, how do we take that into the next game? And that's my challenge now is, you know, as the head coach here is continue to move this group forward, keep growing. And we'll be there someday. I have no doubt about that. I love where we're at. I love where we're at, you know, what we've done in the last two years and where the strides we made from last year to this year. My goal is to be in that position one day. And it just takes, you got to, you just got to go through this fire and that's okay. You know, um, that's part of the process. So I have a group of guys that'll continue to battle and continue to fight and they'll stay together and, Nobody's hanging their heads right now.